this is how I build my first GPT from the ChatGPT store. All you have to do is come over here, make sure you are a paid subscriber, obviously, so you can have access to the store. I don't know if you have access to it as an unpaid one, so that's something you're gonna have to find out the hard way, big dog. So right here, you can see me and the GPT maker is helping me tailor my own logo specifically to what I'm looking for. And you can go back and forth as much as you want until you know you find something that's satisfactory to your liking, and then you just take that on and it will apply immediately like this. So on the left side here is all the parameters you are putting into chat GPT to create the GPT. And on the right side, you can test it immediately. As you can see, it says preview right there. And immediately it also just designed the logo for my own GPT. Okay. Now here's the initial profile picture. Do you like it? I actually kind of do. I do. Great, let's fine tune GPT's behavior. Perfect. So we'll cover each aspect in this role. So you just follow these instructions. It kind of guides you into making your GPT. Okay, so right? here so. is where you can fine tune the GPT a little bit more, right? So I'm adding some details to where I want the GPT to spit out when I type the prompt, right? So now if you're paying attention to the right side too, I'm going to test this so we can see what the GPT does. So I can just tweak it without having to go wait and then do it at the end, something like that. Now it's important to remember, you can always customize this GPT, but you can also just go to chat GPT itself to figure out how to write a better prompt to make your GPT work better. So like using chat GPT to train your GPT to become better. And essentially, this is kind of what the trend is. And this is what is coming in the next month, right? Uh, building these agents that can do different things for you, like having one set at your desk that does your work for you or replies to your emails. And then you have another one that kind of scans the news and manages the stocks and you know trades for you. And then you have another one there that has entertainment up uh, what, what's new in the market and, you know just showing you a video here so having these gpts that are you know these agents that can learn different things is going to change our world a little bit so in this part of the prompt i'm doing what's called a negative prompt so these are things that i want the gpt to avoid whenever it is coming up with a logo so if you were to click on this logo maker gpt and you're typing it is automatically going to avoid whatever I'm going to ask it right here, like avoid uh, bad quality, avoid you know missing limbs if you're putting you know hands in it or something like that. That way, it's always going to come out you know better than what you're going to get the first try. Because if you remember ChatGPT one, two, or Dolly one, for example, you know you, the images were terrible, <laughs> so you had to really fine tune it. So now you can really write this negative prompt, and then it starts off better. I'm going to assume that ChatGPT five will automatically have these negative prompts embedded somehow. Okay, so I just wanted to distract your brain for just a second and show you this interesting fact about the English language that just came out at the South by Southwest conference that just happened. Now these guys from Luminate uh, study trends all year long and they have some real interesting facts that you're going to want to see. Now check this one out. This one says shares of the English language in top 10K global tracks, right? It's declining. Now, what does that mean? So that means all the songs that are normally in English, they're right. They started off at like 67% right in 2021. And they're probably a lot higher because if you think about all the really popular musicians and throughout the years, they were all English speaking. Well, for the most part, at least, you know, did their acts in English, but now that is declining. I mean, that's significant in two years, right? 67% to 54% in two years now this is interesting to me because i thought that as the world became closer as we are able to reach everyone in every country through the internet that we would all choose english as the main language because it seems to be easier to communicate with versus like you know making everyone learn french or spanish or italian or german or something like that but it looks like we are headed that way. Maybe it's going to be a melting pot of languages. Maybe AI will develop a new language, but that is quite the interesting fact, right? Let me show you guys one more 
I thought that would really blow your mind a little bit. So another shocking slide I wanted to show you from this guy's presentation was about Gen Z and Gen Alpha, which is the generation right after Gen Z. As you can see here, short form video is key to music discovery source for younger generations. So these guys are learning about new music and new artists through TikTok videos, essentially, right? And YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, whatever you call them. And they are discovering new artists and new music through that. I mean, who knew? I, I have not picked up a new artist through that means yet, but I am also a millennial, so I'm not really on those TikTok as often to really learn about new artists like that but that is interesting that just blew my mind i can't believe you as an artist if you are on tiktok you are more likely to get discovered versus handing out your big state or something or doing the cypher but wow that really just took my mind out to left field and i wonder what it made you guys feel like now as you are now completely relaxed let's get back to building that gpt what you came here for remember that okay so here you can see i'm fine tuning the gpt just a little bit more because i wanted to ask for an example so it can create the best possible logo the first time around or give you the best first option as opposed to having to redo it so if you give it a picture go i want it in the style of this reference picture then you're going to have something a little bit closer to what you're looking for from your original drawing so as i asked the gpt to ask whoever is typing in the prompt to provide an example if possible you can see that it will make the gpt more accurate in the picture that you are trying to receive as a logo in this instant now in other cases if you are typing a prompt anywhere else you always want to provide more details than anything else because the more details you put into your prompt the easier it is for the gpt to spit out something closer to what you're looking for so if you go test this out on uh, mid journey or dolly 3 or even here on chat gpt just try to add more details and you'll see a huge difference now for this example i've kept it really short because nobody got time for that but i can make more in-depth videos just to show you guys that the more details you put in there the better the results Okay, so now you can look on the right of your screen. I'm going to get to test out the GPT and I'm going to just type, I need a logo for a commercial space company and let's see what spits out here. And then we can go on and try to tweak it or show you just a little bit what that looks like. And then you guys are free to go and try this on your own. Hopefully you're successful. So as you can see here, it's asking me for a lot of details and i kind of want the answers to be a little bit shorter since i chose to kind of have medium to long answers here and there the variation but i think i'd prefer to be a little bit shorter because it looks like you can get really impatient i just want to see the logo really quickly and there you are it's my first gpt which is a custom logo maker that gets to know you and the type of business you are thinking about and it just draws out the best logo for you the first time. Now, of course, you can go ahead and take this logo out of here and you can drop it into other sites that you can upscale the image or even you know make it a vector or you can remove the background and actually use it as a logo if you want to. I would fine tune it a little bit more. Obviously, you can't do that with ChatGPT yet, but you can prompt it to death. And there you have it, guys. That's how you can build your own GPT easily. I did that in under like 10 minutes tops, okay? I did fast forward through the video a little bit, but that's because that's all the boring parts that you don't want to see because I respect your time. Now, uh, if that was helpful, if you could build your own GPT, if you want to collab and build a GPT together, I got you, right? If you don't feel like paying for whatever, give me your idea and I'll chop it into the GPT and we'll see what's going on. All right, without any further ado, guys, if you enjoyed the channel, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the other side. Peace.